Hi, this is Scott Midwest, your service tech. And today we're going to look at replacing a turbine in the Midwest Stylus Plus handpiece. We're going to use this replacement uh, turbine kit from Densply Serona Midwest. has all our components in. Taking these parts out, this is the this black part is the torque tool to remove and install the push button cap. There's a small o-ring insertion tool which is going to aid in uh, reinstalling the suspension o-rings into the handpiece. And then our little vial here contains the, uh, the new turbine, the two wave washers, and the two suspension o-rings are all in this little vial. So those three parts are what you'll get with the kit. This, this kit is very similar for all of the uh, newer Midwest hand pieces, the Tradition, Tradition Pro, the Stylus Plus, and then of course the Phoenix line, the, uh, uh, the regular, the ZR, and the Pro. So all these components are very similar. Of course, they're different qualities and different things, but the, the process itself will be the same for uh, each of these replacements. The other thing I have here is a couple burrs we're just going to put in to aid in the uh, removal and, and installation of the turbine, an explorer tool, some cotton swabs, the uh, Midwest handpiece lubricant, and the Midwest handpiece cleaner. So one of the ways you can tell when the uh, turbine has started to fail or has failed inside the handpiece um, is if you spin uh, the turbine with your fingers, the the bearings inside, if they've failed, will be real gritty and sandy and like they're catching. This should spin nice and smooth. So if it feels gritty, then uh, that's a sign that the, uh, the bearings are shot. Um, some other signs that you'll hear will be that the turbine doesn't have any power, any cutting power anymore, or the, the, the noise when they're running the handpiece will get louder and louder as it fails, or it's not able to retain the burr anymore. The burr starts to slide out or walk out when they're using it. Any of these things we want to uh, change the turbine cartridge. So we're going to start by um, inserting one of these. I just have a diamond burr here, but if we insert a burr into this handpiece, push the button, fully seat it. It's going to assist in inserting and removing this turbine. So then we're going to take this uh, black back cap tool and there's three little notches around the edges of the cap. This locks in there and if I turn it counterclockwise break that free. Usually once it's a little bit loose you can go ahead and Spin it off with your fingers. Okay, the cap's going to come off. And now we can use this burr to, to push our turbine out through. And we're going to want to look for two wave washers. There's one on the front side here. Take that one off. There's my turbine. We look inside the cap here, we can see the other wave washer is inside of there. Can lift that out. So we got our two wave washers. Now we want to remove the two suspension o rings. So one's going to be down inside the head, it sets in that groove. Um, you can see the the black o-ring right there in that groove. And what I'm going to do is I usually go above the o-ring in that little groove and push it towards the middle like that. And now I can usually get a hook on it and pull it out. Lift it right out of there. Okay. And then we've got one more O-ring in the the back cap. Again, it sets in a little groove. Just 
hook it, push it towards the middle. And lift it out. We're going to discard both of these o-rings, both of these wave washers, and the turbine cartridge itself. One of the main reasons we want to replace the o-rings every time, I get that question, do I have to change them every time, is because these o-rings don't actually seal anything. A lot of times you think of an o-ring and it is there to seal air or water or uh, make something airtight. These O-rings are used for suspension, so it's more like the uh, shock absorber for the, uh, the turbine that's spinning inside, and so it doesn't touch and rub metal on metal on the head of the handpiece. So these are very important, just like when your shocks are worn out on your car, um, it's not going to handle very good. So we want to put the new suspension O-rings in with every turbine change. So we'll open our little vial here and get our new parts out. Then we should have the new turbine, have two new O-rings here, and two wave washers. And I know sometimes that wave washer looks like one, but they're just stuck together. You slide with your fingers. You have the two wave washers. Something that's very important when we're doing these replacements is um, the inside of the head and the inside of the cap. When the turbines fail, they'll throw a lot of grit and debris. There'll be a lot of black grit and debris inside the handpiece. Uh, we want to make sure we clean this out very thoroughly. This is a training handpiece, so of course it's not in real bad shape, but you can see how that looks nice and clean and shiny in there. We want to make sure that's nice and clean and shiny inside the head of the handpiece and inside the cap because we're going to put this brand new turbine in and if there's grit and debris in there when we run it, it's going to get inside our brand new bearings and chew them up very quickly and the turbine life will be very short. When we're cleaning, we want to use this Midwest Plus handpiece cleaner and we're going to spray in here foaming cleaner and we would clean this out diligently we have if we have compressed air we can clean it with air uh, blow it out keep cleaning and change your swabs till they stay nice and clean and then the same thing in the push button cap we'd make sure all this stuff's really clean like I said this one did not have a failed turbine so um, it is nice and clean um, so once we have everything cleaned up, uh, like I said, that's key to the performance of the new turbine. We're going to start uh, reassembling things here. So I'm going to take this burr, and we want to put this into the hand into the new turbine because it's going to aid in the installation. So we just go ahead and put this in the burr tube, push down on a hard surface, and then push the burr the whole way down in and it'll lock it in there for us. Kind of gives us a handle to work with this uh, when we're doing the assembly. Let's install the, um, the, the O-ring and the wave washer into the cap. Okay, so we're going to use our Midwest Plus handpiece lubricant and we want to put some of that on these O-rings. So we want to make sure when we're doing this assembly that the o-rings and everything slides together very easily and we don't want an o-ring to get pinched or folded or, or twisted in there so we want to make sure we can use lots of lubricant this one goes in best just by pushing it in with your finger almost so if you get it pushed in and then you can use the you can use the probe. I like to use the back end of the stick. Even the uh, cotton swab we had just has a blunt end on the back side, and we're just gonna push it down into that groove. 
all the way around. Okay, so we've got that in. Now we can take our wave washer. Or you just get one of them. And that's just going to lay flat in the bottom. You get the point of that Explorer tools kind of fine, so but I can get that to lay in the bottom there. Okay. Then we're going to take our turbine itself, and it will seat down in the Mac cap. Just like that. It will slide in and out, so you kind of have to hold it together, or it'll fall apart. We want to make sure that that stays together so that the wave washer doesn't get tilted or out of position in there. So the next thing we're going to do is install the O-ring into the inside of the head. To do this, we're going to use this little funnel tool that's provided, and it's just going to sit down inside here and you can see there's little steps on the side it'll actually click right in just like that so it'll set against that little ledge see that that gives us a little funnel there and it'll get us right to the groove that the o-ring needs to go into so again we want to place some lubricant on the o-ring itself Help things slide together. Drop that o-ring into the funnel. And again, I'm just going to use the stick, the back end of my swab, and it's just going to push. And drop into that groove. You can see once that O-ring's in the groove the whole way around. Now we're going to take the wave washer and drop it down inside. I leave the funnel in to do this just because I know it's going to drop right to the bottom. I'm not going to catch on anything else. Use the stick there to make sure it's laying flat. I even sometimes put a little bit of oil in the bottom. Something that can be problematic when you go to install this is if that wave washer gets tilted or standing up on its side a little bit, it will kink and uh, uh, make it hard. It won't go together correctly and cause problems with the new turbine. So I want to make sure that wave washer stays in place flat on the bottom. Uh, you can see this has two little slots in it so we can squeeze it together and then it'll lift out of the handpiece. We can set that aside now. Now we're going to take our turbine here that we have stacked together. And we need to keep that held together so that back cap and wave washer doesn't come off of there. Our wave washer is good in the bottom of this. But as we start to insert it through, I can use my index finger here and when that burr starts to come out through the front, I'm going to use my finger to kind of guide this. And then I can get everything aligned there. Start threading this on. This should thread on very easily with your fingers. You should be able to thread it most of the way on. Um, just with your fingers, if you feel anything hitting, make sure one of those wave washers didn't come out of position. Or check your threads and make sure it's not cross-threading a little bit. Or if there's some debris on your threads, make sure the threads are clean. Uh, a little bit of lubricant on them. And then try to re reassemble. Once that spins the whole way up together there, we're going to take our torque tool. So this does torque the back cap to the right amount so that we don't have to worry about this cap coming loose during use in a patient's mouth and coming off and, and causing problems there. So we want to torque this on with the tool. Um, it's going to attach to those three notches like we did before. But what's going to happen, a lot of torque tools normally that I was used to would always want to they'd click when you got to the right torque. This one's just going to slip and you'll notice that this inside part will stop moving 
and the outside part will continue moving. So once we get to the right torque, I can go and it'll tighten it up. And now, see how the outside's turning, but the inside's not. So I know I'm torqued down to the correct amount. Set this aside. Um, take your burn. You can spin this with your fingers. Should feel nice and smooth. You shouldn't feel anything gritty, anything catching or clicking. If you have any of those problems, take it back apart. Something either got in there that shouldn't be in there, or one of the wave washers is hitting or in the way. Should feel nice and smooth. Um, so then we would go ahead and put uh, uh, run this through our automated handpiece station or spray the back end with lubricant and cleaner and then uh, go ahead and run this on an air station or run it on the delivery unit make sure it runs nice and quiet and smooth and then of course we want to sterilize this before use on a patient so that's uh, our uh, little task for today that's the turbine replacement on the Midwest Stylus Plus thank you